in the shop we have like all hands on. We work with cast iron, PVC, black pipe. We've learned basic safety. We've learned how to use power tools correctly. I just like to see things come together. In plumbing, you, that's what you do. You start from the very beginning of nothing and just, you know, you're able to calculate things from start to end. The plumbing program here at Queens Vocational and Technical High School incorporates both theory and hands-on portions um, where they do internships uh, their junior and senior year. And at the same time, we try to bring industry partners to come into the school and provide training as well. I feel very fortunate because I'm learning all the specific skills that many people don't know how to do and I'm going to graduate with my certifications, my OSHA, my NICER. So to an employer, that's a really big thing. Industry partners at our school have a tremendous impact. One of the state requirements is that our kids get 60 hours of internship. Those internship hours are through our partners. We usually get about five or six students uh, go straight into the union right after high school. Um, we also have students that uh, get hired by our industry partners. So when we go out in the industry, they're not expecting like, you know, the 17 or 18 year old to know this much stuff. One of the people that I worked with, he was actually amazed. He's like, wow, I didn't know this until I was like, you know, 25 years old. Like, how do you know this so well? The general goal is for these students to acquire as much knowledge as possible uh, within the three year time frame, get as many certifications as they can, but at the same time, we also prepare them for college. Just the whole curriculum in the school is it's through the roof. It, it taught me everything from code to, to work with my hands. As soon as I graduated, I got into New York City Local One Plumbers Union, and uh, just recently I got a job with the Department of Corrections. I want to go to college for civil engineering, which also involves plumbing. I'm going to go to college for teaching in the high school to become specifically a shop teacher. I came to this school trying to, to learn as much as I can about plumbing. I guess you could say I have a passion for it. So I was always told, you know, if you if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life.